This is a CZX TUZI. It is a 10 amp hour power bank. And this one is particularly designed for heating up like heated jackets or chairs, um, although you could use it for anything that requires uh, 5 volts off of a USB-A port. So I was sent this to review for free. If you wanted to purchase one, it would cost you about $27. They haven't paid me for my review, and my opinion remains my own. So in the packaging, you get the little power bank itself. It has a display here, currently says it's 82% charged. Um, it has two different types of input, so it has a USB-C port and a more older USB micro port um, for charging. That has two outputs, which are USB-A ports. Um, and this guy here has exactly 5 volt output, so there's nothing extra above that, it's just 5 volt output. Um, and it says 2.1 amps. Um, and they list in the instructions 2.1 amps for each of the two ports. I don't know if that'll actually do 4 amps total. I suspect it's 2.1 amps shared among the two ports. And this guy is designed specifically, or marketed specifically, for heating up like a heated jacket. So you put it in the jacket pocket and plug in the things here. Although you could, of course, plug a phone into this and charge it at, you know, 10 watts at 5 volts at 2 amps. So it feels pretty dense. Um, it weighs in at 6.7 um, ounces, or 188 um, grams. Although it is relatively small, you know, it's kind of deck of cards sized. So I plugged it in by the micro USB port, and it does a flashing number indicator to say, hey, I'm being charged. Um, and it is charging at 1.5 amps. Um, 5 volts at 1.5 amps. So basically it's doing about 7.5 watts charging in. And now it is at 82%, so its charge is probably starting to taper off a little bit. It might charge a little faster than that if I had it at a lower percentage charge. All right, so it successfully negotiates USB-C power delivery at 5 volts, and it's currently drawing 1.3 amps at 5 volts, or 6.2 watts. So I'm going to charge this guy up to 100% and then we'll do a runtime test. This guy's fully charged, it's drawing zero current. So I have a heated jacket here. We are going to plug this guy in with the power meter and see how much power it delivers to the heated jacket. All right, I've turned on both the front and the back heaters at full power. Um, this guy here is drawing 1.7 amps or 8.9 watts. I'm just going to leave the jacket buttoned up here to get the most benefit from the insulation. All right, after one hour at full heat, this guy is at 61%. Um, so far it's delivered 8.5 watt hours, and the jacket is still pulling at a pretty consistent 1.7 amps. All right, it's been two hours, and the power bank here is down to 24%. Jacket's still drawing a pretty consistent 1.7 amps. So currently the power bank has delivered a total of 17 watt hours. It still has 24%, well, 23% battery life. All right. This guy is flashing at zero, and just about done. The total power it's put out so far is 26 watt hours, or 5.2 amp hours at 4.9 volts. All right, it's been three and a half hours, and this guy's still flashing at zero, so apparently the BMS doesn't exactly know the total capacity of the cells here because it's still putting out 1.7 amps. Um, and now, it has a total of 30 watt hours that it's put out. All right, just shy of four hours, but maybe five minutes, it finally turned off. All right, so this guy provided 33 watt hours, um, 6.7 amp hours, and that's not bad for a 10 amp hour rated battery. So we are going to reset the watt hour counter and charge it back up and see how much it takes to charge it back up. All right, so charging back up, um, 0%. It's drawing 2.13 amps at 4.81 volts, so it's basically charging at 10 watts. All right, so this guy's charged up overnight. It's been sitting here overnight, and it does draw a little bit of current, like uh, 
a tenth of a watt just to kind of keep things running and going. Um, so the numbers you see here, total draw of 48 watts, it's probably overestimating it by maybe 5 watts or so, so maybe 43 watts is what it took to fill it back up. Um, and it drew in a little above 10 amp hours at 5 volts. Um, so I'm willing to believe this guy does have a 10 amp hour battery at 3.6 volts, 3.7 volts. It does look like it has the rated battery. It provides a little less than that due to you know conversion inefficiencies and so forth, but it does appear to meet its specification. All right, I have a programmable load attached to this guy. Um, it's delivering 2.8 ampish, but when it does that, the voltage drops to 4.1. So I think that the rated capacity of 2.1 amps. Um, let me get down to 2.1 here. So that's basically 2.1 amps. So at 2.1 amps, it's still at 4.97 volts. So it definitely delivers its rated capacity of 2.1 amps. I'm pretty sure that 2.1 amps is probably shared among both of these um, output ports. I don't think each output port can do 2.1 amps. So if you're looking for a 10 amp hour battery pack that provides 5 volts, at, uh, I've measured 1.7 amps continuously um, for multiple hours. I suspect it had, would definitely be able to do the 2.1 amps that it is rated at. Um, you know, so if you're looking for a little battery pack that only does 5 volts, um, this guy is perfectly functional for that. I like the percentage display, even if, you know, once it hit zero, it still went for, you know, another half hour or so. Um, extra capacity isn't necessarily a bad thing.